Hi, Brian McCordy here with another video on making positive change. One of my favorite stories from author Robert Fulgham is he tells about being in an airport and having a lady, young lady sitting next to him. And, uh, and I might get some aspects of this story wrong. It's been a while since I've read it. But the true lesson stuck with me. He noticed the young lady starting to cry. And after consoling her and getting her kind of calmed down, listening to her, um, she was out of money, uh, was in another country, and had lost her airline ticket. She had no idea what she was going to do, how she was going to get home. Out of money, no ticket. Uh, it was a really a, a dark situation. Well, others kind of helped him to, to calm her down. And after they got her calm, they said, well, let's get up and we'll go over to the ticket counter and we'll tell them what's going on and see if they can help. When she stood up, she noticed her ticket on the chair. She'd been sitting on it the entire time. That story just resonated with me so much. People who are trained in coaching, uh, like through the John Maxwell organization, will tell you that the majority of the time, we have what we need inside us to not only solve our problems, but to move forward towards whatever goal passion or purpose that we're moving towards you know in life um, we have the knowledge and the skill that we need but uh, often it takes others to get us moving and thinking in a way that we realize we possess what we need the entire time what are your goals what are the problems you're facing right now have you been sitting on your ticket Another John Maxwellism I like is jump and grow wings on the way. Get into movement. Often doors won't open for us in life until we're moving forward and trying them. And there's almost always more than one way to solve a problem. There's usually several ways. There's several paths up to the top of any mountain. It's not can I do something, but how can I do it? and then looking for better and better and better ways. Until next time, this is Brian McCorder, and it's all about positive change.